Hi, all. Fast forwarding through the setup so we can get right to this message. Definitely about transformation. A lot of you, it's about work. Some of you, about healing some pain. Let's get into it. Hi, Thank you for friends. being here. We're back. This is a great message for many of you. It's going on in my family. It's happened to me. A lot of people are reevaluating work, right? Everything we've been through. This is about that. So if it resonates with you, work, you may have just gotten a job. Everyone around you is thrilled. You're happy, but I don't think it's exactly what you wanted. And I do want you to know that there are a million opportunities coming and I think you're going to pivot and then you will feel really, really happy. So let's talk about this. As I mentioned in a couple previous videos, I like to use a work cycle spread. You can lay it out like a, a Celtic cross, but basically these are recent past what you're working through and what you want to happen and what likely is going to happen. So here is why I say, oh, also numerology speaking to us, fours, fives, and new beginnings. Fours tell me you're happy, there's things to celebrate, and you want security. You want security, you want to celebrate. I think you are, you have, you've been happy about this. It's work, it feels like it's gonna help you put down some roots, some foundation, you know, but also we have this. And while I'm starting, I do want to welcome in all signs. I have heavy, Water, fire, earth here, oddly enough, no, no air. So please, air signs, bring in some oxygen. We need you. And for all of you watching, if you are not an air sign, increase your oxygen. We need air. This hair event is representative earth, Taurus. It is the number five. This is where I see some conflicts and where you need to just figure out why you feel like you're stuck in a rut and you really want to know more about what is in line with your values. And also, if anyone you're in your life is holding you back or misdirecting you from really shining your light, please tune into spirituality. Um... If church or synagogues help you go seek advice there, I really feel like you're ready to learn and be your own guru. So try to avoid a lot of chitter chatter from people telling you, yes, this is great, this is great, this is great. Because unfortunately, I don't think you really feel that way. There's a sense of you feeling stuck in a rut and really all of this isn't truly satisfying you. You're glad it happened. You realize that you do have an infinite amount of possibilities that are divinely brought to you, okay? Temperance represent Sagittarius, a more of uh, fire, very fair, blending energies, optimistic, an angelic moderator. If you cannot be your own guide, guru, moderator in this, seek out really good advice, uh, financial advice, career advice, and uh, whatever else helps you, ooh, I kicked it, helps you grow independently in a healthy way. This is not about love though. So just balance 
love and work as you make these changes and allow the changes to occur. Don't let anyone stop you. This is where the cups, the water that we see, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but truly this is just, you know, a lot of uh, digging deep about this current situation and what you really, really want. If any of you feel very unconsolable, I, I, I understand and just please, you know, tap into the angelic guidance. This is 14, I don't know if I mentioned that, that does break back down to five, which shows me this, <clears throat> excuse me, the conflict, the um, discontent that is happening, even though there's such enlightenment and reasons to celebrate, you're just not really that convinced. But what happens now is you seek more career and relationships that are in line with your values. The nines represent action, courage, the hard work that you're putting in. So you're probably putting in a lot of hard, hard work into something new. Um, but you're not really sure if you're ready to celebrate it, but I can tell you this is moving out of that stuck energy into, all right, I'm ready to take action. I'm going to be courageous. And what I choose, what I decide is going to benefit those around me, first me, and then those around me. And it's very balanced and beautiful. And yes, in comes the sun. More strength, fire, Leo to be specific. And this is a 19, which is 10, which is 1. It's a beginning. It's a reminder that when you are truly happy and balanced and in line, you shine. You shine and you then are really to ready to celebrate. There is a lot of optimism here. The Hierophant is ready to learn and embrace this. this temperance is angelic. He moderates the emotions, the decisions, and your hard work moves you forward in these career decisions and the outcome, whether you change jobs, positions, move up, there are these balanced beginnings. You achieve the balance that you were looking for, the boundaries, the perspective. She's, he, she, this human is up on a tree, above the trees, in a tree stand, which is a yoga pose, extremely confident, balanced, and ready to really celebrate within you what you've been wanting. Okay. I have a special treat for you. There's some of our favorite, right? Work your light. Let's do it. Many of you, if not all, are very psychic in tune to energetic connection and messages. Oh, let me not forget. Expect messages to come in. It could involve a young person as pages are, but it also messages. So wonderful. And here's one for you. Stay tuned. Stay with me just a few more minutes. Okay, put my glasses back on. Here we go. Work your light. Oh, these are amazing oracle cards. 
Light Sears Tarot right here by Chrissy Ann. Love them. These are remarkable too. Work your light. Let's work it. Wow. Okay. One flipped. Where'd you go? There it is. Transformation. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Cellular level. Deep healing. I love this for those of you who I did feel felt a bit unconsolable. There is deep healing here for you. Okay, and that is the transformation you need and the courage to move forward, to know healing can happen. Um, do you know the the butter, the, uh, oh gosh, the caterpillar goes into the cocoon, really feeling probably scared and not just praying that it works out. And then this transformation comes that's just magnificent. So I want to help you understand from these oracle cards, what this really can be for you. Um, okay. Truly, you guys, you're not the person you used to be. And perhaps some of the goals that you felt inclined to ce celebrate really aren't right for you anymore. And it could have been in just the last year and I would say within nine months, you will be celebrating again, something that is much more in line with you. This is an activation card. You are truly being reminded that you have the action, the courage and the strength to make these changes and to let your light shine. It is the transformation that will happen. And those of you in deep pain, I get it. Please know pain can lead to healing. Healing is a lifelong journey, but it gets better. And I know you'll look back at what happened and realize it was all meant to be. And it aligned you more with who you are how you want to manifest your career. Um, this is good fortune, by the way. And how you will transform into these new beginnings that will bring you more abundance, I think, than you ever realize. And you will look back in a year and, and be amazed. This is the transformation you need to work on and and really enlighten yourself about pray about meditate take walks align yourself be okay to be independent and in your own skin happy in your own skin it'll benefit all your relationships for sure i'd like to do one more thing for you guys i haven't done lately ancestral runes. I, I think it'll give you added strength. Okay, so one more thing. All right. My little coconut bowl. Isn't it beautiful? All right. Let's just, uh, let's get, I'm going to grab two. I don't know what they are. All right. Ah, you're going to love it. Here we go. God, these are exceptionally perfect. I always say everything fits like a puzzle when we get to the end. And thank you for staying. I love you guys so much. You have no idea how much you mean to me. I welcome your comments. Please comment if you'd like to get in touch with me. Um, sometimes I miss the email. So if you just let me know you want to talk or you've emailed, I'm so happy to help. This is Yira, 
the rune of the year. I've been telling you that the last year really is started this transformation and yes, things have been good, but what's coming is more in line with what you want. This is a karma also. Power of harvest, change. The strength to change, the power to understand that you reap what you sow, but this is good in a good way. So don't let fear get in the way. It is another fire sign. Jupiter is the planet associated with that. That is good luck. In Tarot, it's the Wheel of Fortune. See, you're making these changes, these transformations. They bring strength. They bring new opportunities that you don't want to miss. And they bring in fairness and balance in your love, in your relationships. And it also represents the cycles that you've been through and the hard work, but the hope and the promise that if you stay true to yourself, it's going to be beautiful. Last, work hard, have patience. It's here. Okay. Try to leave that where you can still see it. This is a kiss. I am so happy to leave you with a kiss. Mwah. This is called the rune of the gift, Gabo, if I'm saying it correctly. It's connection. Pisces, the moon. And it's time to exchange something significant with a partner, a friend, a love. It's a kiss. It is, oh, um, contracts as well. It is an absolute blessing to the new beginnings, the power of unity and the connections of love and commitment and determination. I do want you to have conversations with those in your life about the changes that you feel you need or that you want to make or the transformation that you're going through. It is blessed. It doesn't want to stay. It is blessed by the ancestral uh, language and energy and messages where we have connected and put together here. I love you guys. It is going to be a beautiful transformation for you. Absolutely a big year ahead that you, there's always ups and downs, but there's so much good fortune be patient, stay determined, and look for messages. I love you. See you soon. Peace.